My name is Bob Nichols. I'm a professional paleo artist and for the last 15 years I've been illustrating and sculpting dinosaurs and I've been invited by the Natural History Museum to bring the Stegosaurus back to life by producing two brand new digital illustrations. Okay, so come on in Bob and this is what all the fuss is about. Wow. So something very special about Stegosaurus are the plates along the back. They look much thinner than I expected them to be. My first impression is the same as yours. These things are really thin. They're really uh, only a couple of millimetres thick in some places. To make my illustration as accurate as possible, it was essential for me to visit the museum to see the, the completed skeleton. So that when I reconstructed the, the dinosaur, it wasn't just any Stegosaurus, it was the actual individual that is exhibited in the museum. When I was at the museum, I took several hundred photographs, and some of them were trying to find the right angle to illustrate the Stegosaurus. The final posture that I chose was taken from a photograph where I was led on the ground looking up, and it was, a, it was the best angle because it was looking so formidable and active, and I wanted it to appear quite powerful. The Stegosaurus is using its amazing spiked tail to fend off a meat-eating dinosaur called Ceratosaurus. The thing I love most about my work is bringing to life animals that you can't see in the wild. You can go in on holiday and see elephants and rhinos and other amazing animals, but you can't see a Stegosaurus in the wild. So that's what I love, is, is taking these extinct creatures and bringing them to life. It's probably one of the most accurate reconstructions of Stegosaurus ever.